next meltdown. What's that? It's called Needle Point, Henry. There's Mum and Dad, that's me, and, um, that's you. You didn't come out quite right. <laughs> I didn't come out right. It's a birthday present for Mum. You haven't forgotten that it's her birthday, have you, Henry? No, of course not. Do you know what you're going to give her? As if I tell you, frog face. Henry! Henry! I'm horrid! I'm horrid! I'm really, really horrid! Henry, Aunt Ruby and Cousin Steve are here. So? Aunt Ruby has very kindly offered to take you to the shops so you can buy a present for Mum. Shopping? With Aunt Ruby and stuck-up Steve? No way! Can't you take us, Dad? Um, no, actually. <clears throat> um, I'm going to be um, tidying up the house. Mm. Watching the match, more like. Mm. Coming shopping, Henry? No. Yes. Now come along, Henry. But I haven't got any money. What a surprise! <laughs> Here's ten pounds, but it's all to spend on a present for your mother. Understand? Ten pounds? None of it's for me! That's right, Henry. No! Come along, Henry! It's not fair! On, boys, keep up. <laughs> Look who's here. <laughs> Looking for some new knickers, Henry. <laughs> yeah, knickers, Henry. <laughs> Dearest, Henry calls me a bogey brain. Horrid boy. <laughs> <laughs> so easy being me. I'm horrid Henry. Fang, I said be quiet. Thank you. Maybe I can get some sleep now. Oh, Fang! It could be such a pain! I know, Henry. 
but it's still time for school. Opportunity for anyone who feels they have the power. Power to be a slime ball. Ah, Henry, thank you. For what? <laughs> <laughs> Can anyone tell Henry why he deserves our gratitude? Yes, Miss. I'd like to thank Henry for being so horrid that the dinner ladies give me all his chips at lunchtime. <laughs> I'd like to thank Henry for sharing his yummy gummy fizz balls with me when mine were confiscated by Miss Oddbod. Oh, I'd like to thank Henry for hiding out with me when we're supposed to be at games. <laughs> oh, uh, I'd like to uh, like thank Henry. <laughs> Well, it seems we all have something to be grateful to you for, Henry. You can put your hand down now, Henry. And then you can go to Miss Oddbod's office. Miss Oddbod. Well, I must confess I did not expect to see you here. Uh, yes, Miss Oddbod. You have come about. Yes, Miss Oddbod. Well, I must say I'm rather pleased to see you here, Henry. Yes, Miss Oddbod. You are Miss Oddbod? Yes. I mean, I know they do say never judge a book by its cover, but your volumes have been... Uh, shall we say, remarkably consistent in their presentation. You are, Miss Oddbod. I haven't finished, Henry. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, remarkably consistent in their presentation and would never have led one to believe that there were such hidden depths. Well, what do you have to say to that, Henry? Uh, yes, Miss Oddbod. Right, well... It's early days. Now then, let's get on with the matter in hand, shall we? Yes, Miss Oddbod. Take these. Yes, Miss Oddbod. And report back to my office same time tomorrow morning. Yes, Miss Oddbod. Well, off you go then. Yes, Miss Oddbod. <laughs>
And no, it didn't hurt too much since you asked. Mum's told me to tidy up every last bit of everything, or else. Every last bit of everything, Henry, or else. Or else what, Mum? Or else, or else... Oh, just or else, Henry. This, my friend, is the best. And only the best is good enough for me. nearly finished tidying up. Yes, Mum. Well, at least you won't be needing anything for Christmas. Yeah. No, I mean... What did you mean by that? I meant you've got so many toys you're not going to need any more for a very long time. Ouch! Password? Uh, uh, um, ketchup? Nope, that was last week's password. Chips? That was the week before. Oh, give me a clue, please. Oh, all right then. Moody Margaret is a. Oh, a, 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 a mouldy old measle. Enter, esteemed Double Hand Gang member. you're doing. What do you think you're doing? You're supposed to ask him for a password before you let him in. Not have a chat first. Could I come in now? What's the password? Mouldy old measle. Addicted security. Password has now been changed. What's going on, Ralph? Uh, hang on now. Um, can we come in now, please, Peter? Peter, can we come in? Password? No! So you see, I had no choice. I had to change the password, otherwise who knows what might have happened. Oh yeah, and what might have happened? All sorts of people, unauthorised people, might have got into the Purple Hand Gang fort. Really? Yes, really! Dark forces are at work, Henry. <laughs> As Chief Secretary of the Purple Hand Gang, it is my job to make sure that security is not breached. <laughs> Look, Henry, I know I'm not always as good as I can be, but I try to give off my best and... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just don't make it difficult for everyone else, OK? Cos then I'll have to reconsider my decision to make you Chief Secretary. Deal? Deal. Shake on it. I still have standards. Peter? Oh, not now, Mum. I'm on important Purple Hand Gang business. Well, that's nice. Oh, 
Now, mind you, worried lot. Off you go. Into the fresh air. Ah, the most storied of the lot. What do you mean, sir? You know what I mean. Get out there now. <laughs> <laughs> Walking the dog. Way to go, Henry. <laughs> That's easy. I can do that. That's not walking the dog. That's walking the pink poodle. <laughs> yeah, walking the pink poodle. All right, then. It's walking the pink poodle. Want to make something of it? Um, not really. Come on, Susan. We've got better things to do than hang around with this lot. <laughs> <laughs> You're really good at the yo-yo, Henry. Oh, thanks, Ralph. You say the nicest things. Hey, what's up? Oh, nothing really. It just seems like everyone's good at something. What do you mean? Well, you're really good at the yo-yo. Aerobic Al's really good at sport. Yeah. Brainy Brian's really good at reading. Well, yeah. And Weepy William's really good at crying. <laughs> I suppose you could say that. Even Moody Margaret's good at something. Oh, yeah. What's that? Well, being moody, I suppose. I just wish I was really good at something. You are good at something, Ralph. You're good at being rude. Well, yeah, but I want to be able to do something real. Something I can stand up and say, look, I did that all by myself and it was good. Well, oh, right. Do you understand what I'm talking about, Henry? Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, no. Uh, I mean, uh, run it by me one more time. Oi, you two. <gasps> Uh-oh. Mum said if I get another late mark, that's it on the pocket money front. Come back, you worried boy. Oh, Henry, how nice of you to join us. <gasps> ah, and Mr Soggington too. <laughs> oh, Boudica. <laughs> I mean, uh, Miss Battleax. Can I help you, Mr. Soggington? <laughs> he, horrid boy. Ah, uh, double detention, did you say, Mr. Soggington? <gasps> well, don't just stand there, Henry. Off you go. No! It's not fair, it's just not to listen to it, Henry. Yeah, well, it's good music. It is not good music. It's pop music. It is not pop music. It is rock music played by rock stars. Well, we don't like it, do we, Fluffy Wuffy? So if you wouldn't mind keeping it down, as Fluffy and me have better things to do than listening to pop music. What a wormy worm! What I really want to do is cover up this the whole of you! No! Sometimes Henry makes me so cross, I feel like I could do something really, really horrid to him. Like, throw all my number gnomes at him. But that would 
wouldn't be nice for my number gnomes. I've tried hiding all his favourite things. But his room was so messy, I didn't know where to begin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try so hard to be perfect in every way. I get at least three good as gold stars every single day. I try really hard to be the best boy ever at school. Oh, that's my lovely class. Well, Miss Lovely's lovely class, I should say. That's me, of course, with the other best boys. Henry calls them Spotless Sam, Goody Goody Gordon and Tidy Ted. He thinks he's being horrid, but actually, I think their names really suit them. So I... easy being me, I'm horrid Henry! Men, just reading fine. You said that last time I asked you, which was 20 minutes ago. He's very hungry. Oh, what is that boy doing up there? <sighs> Much ado about nothing, if you ask me. Huh, very funny. Comedy of errors, more like. What are you doing now, Henry? I'm just looking for my socks. Ready, Mum? I've tidied the bathroom and folded the towels and matched all my odd socks. Can I borrow some of your socks, then, Worm? Neither a borrower nor a lender be, Henry. Oh, <laughs> nice one, Peter. I'll take that as a no, then. Where's he gone now? Henry! Coming! We're not going to get there till the interval at this rate. Oh, did you say interval, Dad? Yes, Henry, I did. <laughs> Will there be ice cream? Maybe. That means yes! <laughs> Let's go! <sighs> at last. We going? We're going to the theatre, Henry. The theatre? No! You are going to the theatre. But why? Why are we even going to the theatre? Because Great Aunt Greta gave us the tickets. And? And your mum wanted to see the play. And? And, and Peter's doing the play at school. And? And Great Aunt Greta knows someone who's in the play. So? So it would be rude not to. I am so not going to the theatre. Cool. The fearless phantom. I wonder what he's up to. Come on, Henry. Wild Will's Wombat. Fearless does Shakespeare. Who? Huh? Hang on a roly mo. Does that mean he can't do? Can he? Yes, Henry, it does. I am so going to the theatre. <laughs> 